Since the first episode of Virgin River, fans have been kept entertained with every episode doing better than the last. However, season 3 was in a league of its own, taking the show to amazing heights. At the end of the thrilling seasons, fans were left with tons of questions, including the interrupted proposal of Jack Sheridan to Mel Monroe. To put anxious fans at ease, Martin Henderson has made public that season 4 will answer lots of questions. Do you know what he means by this? Stay tuned to find out. What did Martin Henderson have to say about season 4? We all know that for a show to be good, it has to keep viewers entertained, and when it fails to do that, it gets cancelled. So producers commonly make use of cliffhangers to keep us interested. Nonetheless, I think Virgin River took it a little too far with season 3. Some even wonder whether season 4 will be enough to give us answers to all our questions. I mean, who is the father of Mel's child? And will Brady shoot Jack? Seeing our despair, the lovely Martin Henderson revealed in an interview that when Virgin River returns to Netflix, it will answer a ton of questions. Although he wasn't too keen to give out much detail, he explained that he thinks season 4 is very interesting but is still going to leave us with multiple cliffhangers. How much are these people going to play with our emotions? Well, I guess it's for the best. The actor also created some new things fans have to ponder. He said, the cliffhangers will provide a little love-hate situation for the viewers, where they love but hate the wait. What he meant by this is that the cliffhangers are going to be very exciting and we will love them, but we will hate having to wait for new episodes. What a crazy way to put our minds at ease while causing fresh concerns. Now that we've got that out of the way, it's time we talk about these cliffhangers we need answers for in Season 4. If you're a fan of Virgin River, then you don't want to skip these. Who is responsible for Mel's pregnancy? It was a big surprise to fans of the show when in the opening minutes of the Season 3 finale, it was revealed that Mel was pregnant. We all know that Mel and Jack were really into each other until Mel decided that she wanted to have his baby. That's a pretty big bomb to drop on a guy who's not ready for a family. So, Jack's answer was not what she wanted to hear. He told her that he wasn't ready to support two families. While some fans believe it was reasonable of him to make that decision, others think it was not the right thing to say. Who am I to judge? After they broke up with each other, Mel went to visit her sister in LA, who managed to convince her to use embryos she and her late husband created at a fertility clinic before he died while on IVF treatment. I think it was a good thing that she didn't sleep with anyone after they broke up, which would have made everything more awkward. However, it's still not confirmed whether Jack is the father or whether it's Mel's late husband. Do you think Jack will still propose to her even when the baby is not his? Leave us your answer in the comments section. This is definitely a big question season 4 will have to answer. When Henderson was asked what he thinks is going to happen next, he expressed that he thinks that a really weird and uncomfortable conversation is going to follow that news. Who is the mystery man that shot Jack? Notice how I used the word mystery man. Well, it's for a good reason. In an interview with the main characters, Breckenridge and Henderson, they revealed that they already knew who shot Jack. Want me to tell you who did it? Sorry, but they didn't say. All the characters had to say to us was that we will be very surprised when we see the person behind it. Forget what the actors had to say, they were probably acting. Fans have put together a list of individuals that could be the mystery man responsible for shooting Jack. Before we go further, just in case you were a bit worried that we'll lose dear Jack, I've got some good news. Firstly, it's impossible that a leading man will just die. And secondly, Martin Henderson, Jack, urged fans to never lose hope. Now, for the suspects. The most likely suspect is Calvin, who had most of his marijuana business shut down by Jack in season 2, so he might have wanted some revenge. However, since the characters have said the killer will surprise us, I doubt that it's going to be Calvin. Another suspect is Brady, and it will be quite a plot twist if he was the shooter, since they served in the Marines together. Nonetheless, since Jack was shot in the stomach, which is usually not a kill shot in movies, it's possible that it was Brady who was trying to send Jack a message without killing him. It could also be a new character or a stranger. I guess we'll find out if there's a season 4. Is Lizzie going to break up with Ricky? Love is a beautiful thing, until you decide to hide things from your Partner. It was heartbreaking to watch the once amazing relationship between Ricky and Lizzie crumble. Let's go over what happens again to reignite your memory. So, in season 3, Ricky decided not to go to the community college, and instead, he enlisted to become a member of the Marines. However, he kept it from everyone, including his girlfriend Lizzie. I know it was all just acting, but that's pretty dumb. How do you go about making such a big decision without letting your girlfriend know? Well, he seemed to have come to his senses at Lily's funeral. And 
decided he was going to let her know. As Lizzie was happily talking about taking Ricky to her friend's wedding, he decided to rip off the bandage and told her that he enlisted for the Marines. He gave her this news and told her that he'd be signing his contract soon, with basic training beginning in the fall. I wonder what he was expecting her reaction to be, but it was pretty clear that she was going to be pissed, and she was. Ricky tried to talk to her, but she didn't want to. When he tried to talk to her, she seemed to have moved on and was already talking about the relationship in the past tense. To make things worse for Ricky, Lizzie's ex-boyfriend, Parker, had come to see her, and he offered to take her on a road trip. What do you think will happen to their relationship in season four? Leave us a comment. Who will gain custody of the twins? I think this is one of the major cliffhangers of season three. Jack and his ex, Charmaine, were obviously not meant to be together, so it's reasonable that their relationship failed. I think the both of them know this, and they just want the best for each other. However, the relationship between both of them started to go downhill immediately when Todd, Charmaine's new husband, came into the picture. The crazy man started to make moves to become the legitimate father of the twins. I always knew that there was something fishy about Todd, since he was introduced in the season opener. I mean, they got engaged only after a few weeks of knowing each other, and it became obvious that he was not a good person. However, even though Charmaine has seen some bad signs, she's willing to turn a blind eye to them because she desperately wants a new father for her kids. Charmaine has even complained about how Todd always wanted to have his way, even deciding where they will live once they married without consulting her. Anyways, it's certain that there's going to be a fierce battle for the twins. Jack wants to be a good father and be present for his kids, and Charmaine wants a new father for her kids. Who do you think is going to win? It gives me goosebumps when thinking about it. I sure hope Jack doesn't end up losing both ways in season four, if you get what I mean. What's the future for Doc's surprise grandson? After we thought there was nothing that could surprise us after finding out about Mel's pregnancy, Virgin River decided that there was room for one more, Doc's grandson. The strange 19-year-old enters Joellen's bed and breakfast to get a room. During a conversation with Joellen, he reveals that he came from Seattle to look for his grandfather. Joellen, who seems to know everybody in town, asks for the name of his grandfather, and he replies with Dr. Vernon Mullins. I believe that Joellen wasn't the only one with her mouth wide open. Who would have thought that such a bomb would be dropped on us by the show? However, some viewers believe that the doc might not even be aware of it. And if he is, why has he never mentioned anything about the boy? Well, like with all the questions we have about Virgin River, we'll have to wait until season four. Unfortunately, Virgin River has yet to be officially renewed for season four. When it is, we'll surely tell you about it. However, I hope that the show isn't canceled. It would definitely be awful, and we'd have to move on without getting any answers to our questions. Well guys, we've come to the end of another video. If you have any question about Virgin River, be sure to leave us one in the comments section, and we'll surely get back to you.